Thank you. Turn that shit down. Before we even start, I am way too old to be doing this shit. This shit, I'm looking at this crowd, there's fucking hope. Look at you, you're all young, you're like, ooh, life's gonna get better. Yeah, okay, you run with that. You go right ahead. This, look, look how, what, I'm at a, a beach house. I, I used to be on network television. <laughs> now I'm at a beach house. I'm 15 steps from homeless. This is, this is God just showing me how this shit ends. This is, God, God's like, yeah, you indoors now. You know, five bad jokes. You telling jokes on the fucking walk right there. You ducking bicycles and shit. This, this shit's all right. How you doing, man? Yeah, I remember when cameras were full size. That's how old I am. That shit, that shit just... Yeah, I know it's small. That's why I made that joke about them being full size. See, if you got to explain that one, this going to be a long set. If, if I threw him with the small reference... This, I'm, I'm not even gonna get into the geographical material because because if the word small stopped him, that's, man, you you should stay in school. You, you There's hope, but it's an uphill battle. Looking at that right I I don't know, man, I'm, I'm, half, I'm half fucked up tonight. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm, I'm a Clipper fan. Yeah, I know, and they, they folded like the fucking Clippers. It was just, just watching, they had it, you know what I mean? Like they had the lead in the series, they had the lead in the game, and it was as if they were sitting on the bench with a 20 point lead and said, wait a minute, we're the fucking Clippers. There is no reason for this shit to be happening. I have already bought non-refundable airline tickets for next week. There is no way I am going to the next round of the playoff. I am a clipper, goddammit. It was, it was, I, Blake, I love Blake Griffin, but maybe he needs to slow down on the commercials and focus on basketball, because Blake, Blake got more Kia commercials, and, and I always laugh, because he does those commercials like he really drives a Kia. I would just once like to see Blake Griffin just come out there and say, yeah, hi, I'm Blake Griffin, and this is the Kia I, I gave my cleaning lady this bullshit. You don't think. Didn't I just say I'm Blake Griffin? You think I'm driving a Kia? Let me tell you something. I jumped over that shit and landed in a Bentley, all right? There's no reason. I'm going back to the court. You fuck around with these Kias yourself. It would just, I'm, I'm a sports fan, but, but I, I don't know if you, you watch ESPN. ESPN has gotten, like, this so, it's such a bullshit network now. I liked it, it is, I, it is. I liked ESPN when ESPN used to be sports, right? They would just show the game, after the game, they do the bullshit interview, what happened today? Oh, we need to work on defense, we gonna pad, like, just, and then we moved. I don't wanna know athletes, I don't wanna know their lives, I don't want, like, in-depth coverage, because what happens is, you find out, that half of them, they're pieces of shit, to be honest. They're, they're incredibly talented criminals who you're watching. And, and it's almost as if ESPN feels guilty at this point. Like, they did a, a whole one-hour special on this kid. He's a wrestler with no legs. You know, he's like seven years old. You saw it, right? Little kid. And I said, you know, they only did this to balance their coverage of woman beaters who averaged 20 points a game. Like, it was ESPN's way of not feeling guilty. They're like, man, we done had a lot of woman beaters. Let's find a crippled child. That'll make us feel better about ourselves. It, it is just, it's gotten so bad. And, and women, the, the, the abuse of women, like beating women, it's, it's just low life shit. They should, they should just put woman beaters down. You know what I mean? Like, like just like rabid dogs. Just, just put them down. Like they can't function in society, right? Like, slow down, slow down. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you want to kill the starters. Start with the backups. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that. Like, like what? Are, like, like you look into the football team and you're like, man, what happened to the backup offensive tackle? Like, oh, fuck, we had to put him down. He. Uh, 
He was too violent. He couldn't be trusted around children. And that'll wake the starters up, is what I'm saying. It, it's kind of cautious, you know, I don't know, preemptive strike, so to speak. Uh, so what, what else I got going on? Um, guns have gotten, like our society, it, it has gotten so ridiculous with the amount of guns and the, the insane level of gun violence and also the insanity of gun nuts. Like, I get it. I get it if you like guns. Like, I'm a, I'm a gearhead, right? I love cars and motorcycles and shit like that. And I understand if you like guns for the mechanical or, or for target shooting or this or that. It's just the, the guns, it's just when they get ridiculous. Like, I'm carrying an assault rifle to the grocery store. You know, that's when it's like, n maybe not. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I love this story. Well, a, a good guy with a gun can stop a bad guy with a gun. And I'm like, yeah, what if, what if a good guy with a gun comes across a bad cop with a gun? Now we got a fucking dilemma, right? Good guy with a gun, he's leaving Chipotle, because that's where good guys with assault rifles have lunch. <laughs> They, they like to lunch at Chipotle with their assault rifles. And he walks out and the cop's shooting an unarmed man. I'm like, now nah, you got a fucking dilemma, don't you? I, I don't trust cops at all. I, I wear a body camera, fuck. I ain't, I ain't waiting for theirs. I got my, I'm wearing one right now. I'm recording every one of you bastards. If any shit have, I don't go anywhere without a body camera on. I'm, I'm watching shit. People like, hmm, they like he's a Superman. Like, no, I'm recording this shit, huh? It's gotten bad, man. Cops and, you know, the whole violence thing with cops has just gotten so ridiculous. But the only thing funnier than that is watching Fox News. When Fox News has to cover a white cop killing an unarmed black person, this shit is hilarious. <laughs> it is. Not the, act, not the kid getting killed, but just the way Fox, they have to work so hard to spin it, like it would physically hurt them to say that it was wrong for this white cop to kill a black kid. So the minute you say that, like they'll interview somebody on the street, right? And they always try to find the, the most idiot person they can on any like, well, the, the white cop shot the black guy. Like, why do you have to make it about race? I'm sitting at home like, fuck, because it ain't about height. <laughs> it wasn't like the six foot cop killed the four foot man, you know? Just, I, 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 don't, I don't get it, man. Like racism, it's still, it's amazing how pervasive it is in our society in this date. But racism ain't always bad. Sometimes, sometimes racism works out in my favor. You know, like I was at the grocery store, and you know how they per periodically, they do that raise money for charity thing. They ask you if you want to spend an extra dollar to feed hungry kids in some fucking place you've never heard of, right? And the lady always asks you loud enough for the next person to hear it so you can't say no, you know? She's like, would you like to help feed starving kids in the hills of Alabama, you know? And, and she looked at me and she gave me that look and then she didn't ask, you know? Like she was thinking like, oh, your black ass ain't feeding your own kids. And, and that little bit of racism saved me $5. I didn't have to. I didn't have to donate to starving kids in some place I've never fucking heard of. Nothing against the starving kids, but that's like, it's, it's unfair how they do that, right? Because you're just standing like you want your change or do you want to feed sick dogs? And I'm like, fuck, I want my change. I don't give a shit. That's horrible, that's horrible. I feel guilty doing that joke because you're all young. And, and, Honestly, if you were over 40, you'd laugh at that because you, at 40, you stop giving a shit about anyone else. You do. You're looking at retirement and shit like that, and you're like, charity, I'm going to join the Peace Corps and save the world. You know, you hit 40, you're like, fuck, the world's on its own. I'm, I'm going to get mine. I only got a few good years left. Shit, shit's starting to hurt. I can't be fucking around. That's what I look at you, look at this man right here. What are you, 20 something right there? Like nothing hurts on your body, right? You just, you just get up and walk around. If you wanted to right now, you could jump, couldn't you? Okay. I said jump and my knee twitched. My knee was like, you out of your fucking mind? You jump up, you gotta land. You know what I'm saying? I, I broke my foot. I've never had this, it's the strangest injury to recover from. I'm coming back, my like, it's healing. But the, now when I walk, the other foot hurts. And I said to the doctor, like, what the hell's going on? He said, well, 
the foot, the, the stronger foot has been carrying the weight for the weaker foot, so now that foot <laughs> is hurting. And I said, you know, by that logic, my feet will never fucking heal. Do you understand? For the rest of my life, my feet will hurt because one will always be compensating for the other. You are the worst doctor I've ever seen. There are only two feet. Fucking fix one of them is what you could do for me at least. And he said, no. He said, that's how it goes. And then you get older, some shit, you'll find out. Medicine don't work. Sometimes shit just hurts. You know, that's my doctor. Half the time I go, I don't, that's the diagnosis for shit that's wrong with me. I'm like, yo, doc, my wrist hurts. He's like, fuck, you're old. <laughs> that, that's all you say, yeah, that fucking wrist been through a lot. That's, that's just gonna hurt from now on. You, you know, you'll know when it's gonna rain. You know, that's, he says shit like that, and I tell him, you're a terrible doctor. You can't, you can't fix a thing. You can't ma you imagine if like your mechanic was like that? And said, my car's making a funny noise. Well, it's fucked up. <laughs> That would, that, that's my doctor's diagnosis for shit. Just, yeah, you're old. Don't do that. I did CrossFit. My doctor was like, are you out of your fucking mind? He was like, don't you ever jump up on a box again. You understand? If you see a box, you climb slowly. That's what you do. Don't go jumping up on boxes. Listen, you're not going to make the league. I knew guys would get that joke. But you guys are still of that age where you have hope and you think you might make the league. And, and I'm here to tell you, you won't. Just go out and buy a Kia with your own money. No one's gonna give you that. Yes, that's a callback. That's what I do. I don't even know where that came from, but it was good. While you're shooting the crowd, we're getting crowd shots on this too. This is like real television without all the money. <laughs> Right? This is like, yeah, this is cool. This, this is fun, I think. I, you, you guys are sitting there like, what's he gonna close with? This shit ended with the fucking foot joke. I'm, I'm pulling shit out of thin air now. I got, I got nothing, man. What's everyone talking about? Fucking dating and apps and shit like that, man? Fuck around with dating apps at my, are you kidding? You look at you. If you looked on a dating app and saw me looking at you, you'd probably be deleting an app pretty fucking quick, wouldn't you? Be, she looked over here like, oh, hell no, that, that app has been compromised. I do not belong on that app with some guy new. I'm, I'm just kidding with you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on any apps that I know of. I, um, seriously, I found out there was a guy on, on a bondage site using my picture. Ser and, and what was funny about it was I'm just wondering, like, what was his strategy? Because if she goes for it and he shows up, like, this is a pretty fucking accurate depiction of who she expects to whip her ass. Now she, it, and, and the funny thing about it, the weird thing about it was the way I found out because the, a girl had responded to the guy and she was telling a friend of hers, I met this guy online and she showed him a picture and the guy's a comic and he knows me. And he's like, that's not hit, that's Alonzo, that's a comic. <laughs> But I'm looking at him like, where the fuck are you hanging out? <laughs> that you know the chick who found me on the sadomasochism site. There's some weird, that's when you find out some shit, you know. <laughs> Fortunately, as a comic, you have no morals. So it's not like it bothered me or anything. I just was like, yeah, some shit going on, don't you? Yeah, it was funny because one of the comics said he hadn't been to church in six years. And I was like, six years? My mother be ecstatic if I'd been to church in the past six years. I, they, I think they've changed the writing since last time I was in there. I, I, Jesus people, like Jesus is cool. They somehow lost the message. You know what I mean? Like the most religious people, that, that extreme religious right wing, are the most horrible, hateful people. Like if they met Jesus right now, they would fucking hate him. Right? It'd be like, who's this long-haired, bearded, liberal son of a bitch 
not wearing shoes. He voted for Obamacare, you know? Just, 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 Jesus used to like healing the sick for free. And they, right? They wouldn't go for that shit for a minute. What, healing the sick for no money? Get the fuck, can we kill him again? Is it possible? It's so amazing. The, the, the way they twist shit, and like now, I, I'm fascinated by, I'm fascinated by the right wing because they're so smart and insidiously evil. Like if they ever used their powers for good, the world would be an amazing place. Because they can take anything and twist it around. Literally, it becomes the opposite of what it should be. So now, they're, they're using religious freedom to hate gays. And that's fucking amazing, right? That, that that's the quote, we need religious freedom laws so we can hate gays in the name of Jesus. Because there's no doubt Jesus would be on their side, right? So. I like in, 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 what is it, in Indiana, they have the, the pizzeria. Have you heard about this? There's a pizzeria in Indiana that they don't, they refuse to serve pizza at gay weddings that have never asked for pizza. <laughs> There's never been a gay wedding that's like, you know something? <laughs> now that we got these ripped up fucking abs, I think we need a load of pizza at this gathering, right? That's never happened, it's never gonna happen. But they refused to serve pizza at gay weddings, and they, they did a GoFundMe page, literally a GoFundMe designed to raise money for charity to help people, but they used it to raise money to offset the money they would lose not serving pizza to gay weddings that would never order pizza. It's in the name of Jesus. And, and I'm looking at this brilliant strategy, and, and I started a GoFundMe page, and I said, I refuse to perform comedy at gay weddings that have never fucking asked me to do comedy. And, and I want you to give me some money so I don't lose any money not doing comedy at gay weddings that didn't want it in the first fucking place. In the name of Jesus. And, and Jesus is on board. I like, I like, whenever I talk to a right wing Christian, I like to call him Jesus and ask them if he's here legally. <laughs> and, it, and I just watched their head fucking spin around. Yeah. I'm like, you understand, that's a Spanish name. It's Jesus, it's that's how it's pronounced. It's not Jesus, I don't speak Spanish. Really, have you been on Sepulveda? Gotcha. <laughs> and it's what I do, I like to make them mad. I can do it because I'm bigger than them. I wouldn't advise you to do it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you randomly, man, for no reason at all. <laughs> because I got nothing, you understand? The show ended with the foot joke. <laughs> all of this shit, I'm just fucking talking right now. I got absolutely nothing. And, they, they, and they, you, yet you look at me as if there's more. You're looking at me like, but what else is he gonna do? Fuck, I said I got nothing, right? What, uh, what else is there going on? Oh, I got the light. And the light is blue. How sweet is that? Like, the light, and let me tell you something, in comedy, the light is red, all right? It's red, it means stop, it means we don't like you, we don't want to hear you anymore. <laughs> you understand, there's an angry edge to comedy. It's, that's how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be a peaceful blue <laughs> to make you feel good about what you've just done. <laughs> that's not how it works, all right? You're not supposed to be sitting by the beach feeling good about this, all right? You wanna make it in comedy, you're supposed to fucking hate yourself to begin with, and then think, this shit can only get worse. I'm working a fucking beach house on a Tuesday night, and that's, that's the anger that drives you to write, and then tomorrow, I have fucking 20 minutes of hardcore foot material tomorrow. I'd be like, I'd be damned if I'm showing up with no foot material again, I'm gonna be ready for this fucking beach house. And that's how you do it, but no, you guys do it gently with a blue light. It's wrong. I'm trying to help you here. Look at you smiling. Fucking knock it off. You're at a comedy show. Get the proper attitude. Can't have your hat turned around like that and blue shorts and ankle socks. What the fuck is wrong with you? Pick a look and stick with it. What's going on? You're fucking thugged and then you're nice. You, you, what, what the hell is going on? You're the happiest thug I've ever seen. You can't be thug to the waist and then fucking ankle socks. Ain't nobody ever jack anybody in ankle socks. You're all mixed up. 
Yeah, I mean, you're a nice guy, I'm sure. But if you're a nice guy, then you gotta fucking give up the thug half. One or the other, look at you. Why don't you put on a hoodie and totally confuse everybody? It's a fantastic young man here. I like two nice women here. I don't even know what to say. Look, security guy's laughing his ass off. The worst security you've ever seen. Just, you know, he's just security guy just falling out laughing. Homeless guys, he just, ah, fuck it, come on in, fuck it. That shit is funny, you need to hear this. Just straighten up and look angry like you did when I got here. I got here, he looked at me like, what's your old ass doing around here? I gave him my name, that fucker checked the list. He's like, say your last name again, what? No, you, who do you know? Yeah, we, we buddies now, ain't we? Yeah, I bet I get in next time. I'm Alonzo Bowden. I absolutely love doing this. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This was great.